Matthew here from fiberglasssupply.com. In this video series, we're going to take this butcher block countertop and we're going to make a floating hexagon table. So in the first part of the series, we're going to show you how we cut it out on the CNC machine and poured the epoxy resin into it. In the second part, we're going to take it back to the CNC machine and we're going to mill flat both sides, trim around the perimeter, and apply finish to it and mount it up on the desk. Enjoy the video. If you got any questions, please feel free to get a hold of us and we will see you on the other side. We got our butcher block jigged up in the CNC machine. Now we're cutting out the hexes. We're gonna cut almost all the way through the wood, but we're gonna leave about a 16th of an inch of wood underneath the hexes so it ties everything together and gives us a closed cavity to pour into. You do wanna flip the wood over and tape over any knot holes or any voids so you don't get a leak and have epoxy coming out but this worked out really well. We used a 3 8 inch bit and multiple step downs to cut it out. The Baltic birch cuts really nicely and didn't fuzz or do anything weird on it so not a lot of cleanup work really we just vacuumed it out and got the the sawdust out of there and then took it over to our other table and jigged it up flat. You want to check with the level and make sure you're level otherwise the epoxy will want to pull at one end and won't have enough at the other. The one thing we didn't do um, well that we'll do on the next one is you need to make sure you support underneath of that uh, completely. So we used some, some shims to level it up, but we didn't go and support all the way underneath, and so we have some cupping on this side, and we had to take off a little bit more than we would have liked to. Not bad, but a little bit more. So we're mixing up the uh, epoxy. We're using Resin Research 2000 CE. It's a 2 to 1 mix ratio epoxy. We do have another video on mixing epoxy that you can watch. And began to pour it in various locations uh, so it can distribute itself through the hex grid. We want to get that as full as we can because uh, one, we're trying to keep as much thickness on this block as we can. and, and Two, it just makes everything a little bit easier. This took about three gallons of epoxy to do. Yeah, you don't mix all three at once, uh, but you mix it in batches and pour it in. We're using a slow hardener, so that gives us about a 50 minute pot life uh, from when we get it mixed. And it's a moderate mass inside the, the grid there, inside the hex pattern. Uh, so it does cure a little faster than a thin film would, uh, but we had plenty of working time. So here we're just spreading out, using a spreader to you know, make sure we're full up and spread excess epoxy from one area to another. Any little bubbles that come up, one you have plenty of time so the bubbles will rise to the surface, but you take a heat gun and pass them over, they disappear like that. You're passing that heat gun over, you're not holding it in one spot. And what that does is it, it briefly lowers the viscosity of the resin and allows those bubbles to dissipate. Now we're going to let this cure up. In the next video, we'll show you how we planed it and trimmed it out and got it ready to mount to the desk. What you saw there is we went to the CNC machine and we milled the hexagons out on the butcher block countertop. The key is that we did not cut all the way through. We left about a sixteenth of an inch of material at the bottom. That way we could pour the epoxy resin in there and it won't run all over the place. You do need to watch for knot holes and things like that. Make sure you tape those up and then level that up before you pour the epoxy. What we're going to do in the next video is we're going to plane both sides flat, exposing the hexagons, and then we'll mill around the perimeter so that we have epoxy going all the way to the edge before we finish off the table. So thanks for watching this one. Please hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed our channel.